What's going on guys, it's Butch Extra TV here, back at it again. And today guys, we're back here on Snow Runner. Now for today's start of video guys, essentially what we're going to be going ahead and doing today guys is simply taking a quick little look at this brand new mod. Now what this brand new mod is, it's called Raisin Hell Mega Mud Truck. Well it's actually just called Mega Truck, but in the mod browser it's called the Raisin Hell Mega Mud Truck. Completely created, designed, and uploaded all by BB Customs. Now for you guys that could not already tell, this is a second gen Dodge Ram. A completely unbatched and unbranded second gen Dodge Ram that is. Meaning that it is completely console friendly and we should be seeing this thing on console mod browsers here sometime in the near future. And should is the key word there only because in the description he didn't mention hardly anything about the truck but what I do know about most mods like these and a lot of his other console friendly mods just with a mod like this it's completely unbatched and unbranded for console use it's pretty common to just throw in console files in there so I'm just going to assume that's what he did. If he didn't, then the wait for this thing to make an appearance on console may be a little bit longer. But either way, guys, to stay up to date with your latest and greatest snow news, including the newest console and PC mods, including all of their updates and stuff like that, you guys can feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a brand new video from me. But with that, guys, we're just going to go ahead and hop straight into the truck store first. About said, hop straight into customization first, but oh no, no. We're going to go ahead and hop straight into the truck store first, take a look at the price of this bad boy and then move on into the customization and then get to testing. So here we are in the truck store. Here's the Raisin Hell Mega Truck by BB Customs. Now for this truck, it's actually a decent price. It's $78,800. But now let's go and take a look at the customization and see what it has to offer. Okay, so starting off here in engine first, we're gonna start off here with uh, only one engine option, which is pretty common with BB Customs stuff. I do believe his Tahoe didn't have two engine options, but his F-350 Mega Mud Truck from his series of Mega mega Trucks or Mega Mud Trucks, whatever you want to call them. Most of them come with one engine option, however, there was an exception with the F-350, and I believe it did come with two to three. But either way, the engine we have for our second gen here is going to be a supercharged Chevy Big Block pushing near 950 horsepower, and it says it's quite a challenger. Moving it down into gearbox, we're just going to have default, so one option. So, so far for customization, this may be all we get but I'm hoping that suspension will offer us a couple more options and then the build should be pretty good. But let's go and hop straight into the suspension and take a look. And even with the suspension, you're gonna have nothing. Pretty much just one option that is the race tuned suspension. Let's see for tires, what are we gonna have? Normally we'd have multiple tire options, but guess we're just gonna have, I mean, I'm completely fine with it. We are gonna have 53 inch mud tire in the all terrain section. However, these are not all terrain tires. Uh, it's just custom wheel and tire from BB Customs. and the on-road is excellent, off-road is excellent, and the mud performance is all excellent. And in winter, you're gonna have toe strap. In rims, you're gonna only have, in rims, you're gonna only have one option, and that is the beadlocked monster truck rim. And you're gonna have no color options with this vehicle, as well as no decorations. So now let's hop straight into quickly review of the vehicle, then we'll hop straight into the tests. So here we are. Starting off first, you guys will notice down in the bottom left corner of the screen that this vehicle is going to come with a 16 gallon tank, so that will get you pretty far in the long run. With our default gearbox, it's not looking too good. I'm not too sure what performance we're going to get out of this thing, but so far, you're going to have no low gear, and obviously with that, no low plus or low minus, and it's only going to be a two gear gearbox. But with that, you are going to have all time all-wheel drive and diff lock. In functions, you're going to have no suspension options, and there's no driver in the interior. That's just another thing to note. It doesn't really matter because that has nothing to do with the performance but just for the overall model of the vehicle and how it was put in the game it's not going to come with the driver but anyways here is your first person view pretty close i'm not going to say completely spot on to a second gen dodge ram but it is pretty close but enough of that let's go and hop straight into the startup of it let's go ahead and locate the exhaust i'm not sure where the exhaust is normally let's go and take a look in free camera here normally in Okay, started up anyway, but I was gonna say normally, normally with BB Customs Mega Mud Truck stuff, he would just have open header dump pipe right under the frame by the suspension over here, but I have yet to locate the suspension, so that's that. And as you guys can hear, this is what it sounds like. It's actually pretty loud, but that's just at idle. So now let's get to driving. So we maxed out, we are maxed out right now. Two out of two gears. We just two wheeled it after hitting a log, took no engine damage, and I just have now located my exhaust pipes right there, and they come out on either side. 
Uh, cannot believe I did not notice that, but yeah, those are the exhaust pipes. So we are going to have multiple tests for this thing. Uh, we just went ahead and finished the full review of it and the customization. So now let's get to the, so now let's get to the mudding performance over here and see what kind of times we can get. So here we go. In three, two, one, and we're off. So far, all right times. Uh, we are just now. Oh, okay, we're getting a bit stuck, but our all-wheel drive and diff locker gonna save us we just went out of the first mud pit with a solid 12 seconds we are currently at 21 seconds right now and seem to be getting a bit stuck let's try our high gear and it's gonna slow us down it's gonna uh stall our engine or almost stall our engine uh, i'm not gonna say we're stuck yet i know we're still getting on by but we are getting pretty close to stuck these are some they're all right mud bogs but i would expect for a mega mud truck like this especially one from bb customs set up in a similar way to the f-350 that just completely destroyed these mud pits uh i'd expect for it to have a little bit of a better time but I don't really know. I'm just going to go ahead and stop it right here since we are over a minute. No point in continuing. We're obviously not going to make it and I believe we may be at somewhere a little bit over two minutes by the time we exit just the second mud pit. So since we're at a minute 20 right now, I'm just going to go ahead and stop it and recover. We'll move on to our next test. That was the money performance though, but we do have a couple of other things we can try out. On our performance is probably not where this thing's going to thrive. We're probably going to get a super slow time just due to the two gear gearbox. Uh, I wish that would have said that. I wonder if it does say it. I'm not too sure. No, it does not. It's just a default gearbox. Uh, but we can try out the suspension. The suspension looks pretty beefy, pretty mean. Let's see how it'll handle rocks and logs. And let's hop straight into that. So here we are, we've just gone ahead and gotten ourselves all lined up for our rocks. We're pretty much just going to go straight, take a detour off to the left, and then go over the logs and see what kind of times we can finish with. But really, all we're going to be going ahead and doing is eyeballing our suspension, what kind of damage we're taking, and stuff like that. So let's hop straight into it. In 3, 2, 1, and we're off. Going over our first set of rocks over here. See, getting stuck a little bit right there. Stalled us. Uh, so for two engine damage, that's three engine damage right there. And are we going to take any more? Just just over these first rocks. And all in all, that's actually pretty decent time. Uh, we stayed in first gear pretty much the whole time, or pretty close to the whole time. We exited out of there at 22 seconds. So now let's just continue on up here. And here's our detour we're going to be taking to the left to go over our logs. So yeah, as I did mention, it was 22 seconds um, over the rocks. And we'll see what kind of times we can get all together finishing up. Okay, so here we are. That was 55 seconds from the rocks, going over the rocks. Going over those things right over there. I, I don't know what to call them. Let me know down below in the comments what to call them. And then we continue our way on over the logs. Now, it's pretty common for a lot of the vehicles to struggle due to the little mud in between. But the reason I decided to take this bad boy on through is, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. The big old tires and the suspension. Um, it's really not that tricky, but a lot of trucks do actually struggle through the little mud in between the logs. So it is decently common. Uh, just decided I'd go ahead and send it on over. Over here test out our winch to our toe strap winch uh, when we were two wheeling up there um, but yeah I was just gonna full send it on up to the log so we took about two suspension damage I do believe not too sure um, yeah just some more log and rock action to test out our suspension since speed is not gonna be anything good for this vehicle it's not gonna thrive in that category so here we go first gear and second gear and let's get maxed out up here Pretty sure we're maxed out. We're probably not going to make it. Let's stop right here. We are going to nosedive. We are going to we're take 10 engine damage, stall the engine, beat up the front end a bit, and drive away just fine. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much just enough of that. That is the Raisin Hell Mega Truck by BB Customs. Alrighty, guys, we got decent performance out of it. The only thing I'd love to see in the near future, I do believe the engine will have tons of power. It's just getting super held back by the default gearbox. But 
if there was a bigger, better gearbox with many more gears for this thing to open up wide and also give us the option for low plus, low minus, and low gear itself. I do believe this thing would thrive in many different categories, one of them including on road. But anyways, guys, that is the performance of the truck. That is pretty much it. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do to finish off today's video, it is currently Sunday. I'm going to try to do it every video. I've only forgotten on about two ever since I did start doing this. But essentially, guys, what I'm going to be going ahead and doing is uh, simply sharing just a little bit of scripture. Alrighty, guys, there is this Bible app. It is one of the most popular highest rated Bible apps. I'm not sponsored or anything. It's by you version. If you guys are wondering uh, where you guys could find it, it's on iOS and Android. Once again, I'm not sponsored. Anyways, I've been a user for it for many years. Pretty much as soon as you open it up, I mean, they've updated it a lot, but they've kept this going for a long time. Pretty much as soon as you open it up, there's a thing called the verse of the day. Uh, so I just thought since I do make, well, I'm, I'm trying to do daily videos here on the channel. I was on a big grind of daily videos. Uh, content has been slow lately and I have been uh, very busy recently. So I hope you guys do understand but anyways um let's just say i do upload daily which i was doing at one point and i'm still trying to do that uh anyways there's this thing called the verse today i thought i'd pair the two so for today i thought i'd share it since i did get around to making a video so today's verse of the day is john 12 13 and this is the niv version okay so here we go they took palm branches and went out to meet him shouting hosanna blessed he who comes in the name of the lord blessed is the king of israel that's a pretty good one i'm gonna share another one since that was a random they random generate the verse of the day and i don't know what day this was this was a week ago okay the bible verse was 1 thessalonians 5 17 this is the niv version and here here it is pray continually that's all it is. Just pray continually. So yeah, I, I really like that one. And it's actually helped me. I've started to play, pray a lot more. And uh, I'd encourage you guys to, to do as well. And I'd encourage you guys to just, uh, really, I don't care if you guys watch the part about the truck, you know, in my videos or whatever the video topic is. Uh, just, I'd recommend, or not recommend, I'd encourage you guys to stay for the Bible verse at the end. Because that's what you're getting the most out of. Not learning about a mod on Stern. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Now that we got the truck out of the way, uh, it's a pretty cool truck. And also, the main part that I love and look forward to is the Bible verse part. So I hope you guys got something out of both those topics. And that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you have a nice guys there tonight. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.